So in order to achieve true happiness and recovery, or even just in our entire lives in general, we must come to grips with the past, practice forgiveness, and leave the past in the past and remain present. And when I talk about forgiveness, I mean anybody that you are holding a grudge against, probably even more important, yourself. It's definitely one of life's greatest challenges, but if you can meet it square on, your life is gonna drastically change forever. In most cases, and I mean in just about every person on earth, there was at least one or more experience that traumatized us that we're holding in or holding onto. Remember, you're only as happy as your deepest, darkest secrets and our resentments too. Hi, I'm Dennis Berry, best-selling author, life coach for addiction recovery, sobriety, and life mastery. You know, I can tell you that I've been sober since April of 2003, and I've had some really deep-seated secrets, some of which didn't even come out until just a few years ago. Did some pretty questionable behavior back in my 20s in my drinking and drugging career and did a few things that I wasn't proud of. I wasn't even intentionally hiding them. These secrets, they were buried so deep in my subconscious mind that I forgot about them, but they were still driving a lot of my beliefs and my behaviors. So most of my practice is working with men, but I also work with women. And I was working with this woman a few years ago. She was in her mid 40s and she was drinking more than a bottle of wine every night, sometimes more than two, and then just eating a bunch of crap and sugar when she was drunk. And every morning she would wake up and feeling like a truck hitter. And she was full of remorse, she was 20 pounds overweight, and uh, she would just start crying and she couldn't stop. And from the outside, things seemed okay. Her husband was supportive. They didn't really fight that much. She had a good relationship with the kids. They were doing okay too. She just couldn't figure out why it was going on like this. But then one day while we were talking, she brought up how when she was 13 years old, she was taken advantage of when she was at camp by a boy who she hooked up with. He was 15, it was her first kiss, but it wasn't his first kiss. And she wanted to stop, but he didn't. And they didn't have sex, but she was definitely violated in more ways than one, I'll tell you that. She felt ashamed that she never told anybody about any of it. She just buried it deep down inside for the last 30 years. And she just got to the point where she felt like she was just empty and meaningless inside. Like life was just pointless. So we really started digging into that, which was painful, but she was willing to do the work, which is what it takes to drastically change your life. So it turns out that she was just checking out because she couldn't handle the pain that she never addressed for so long. You can only do that for so long before you just feel dead and empty inside. And I've worked with other people too who bury the pain, but they take it out in different ways, like aggressively yelling at their partners or even physical abuse. But the real problem is not handling issues from your childhood that have wreaked havoc in the subconscious mind in the later years. So many people think they can continue to suppress that crap and have a meaningful, happy, successful life, but they invariably find that that stuff just creeps in constantly. So once we dug into that for a while, she just naturally stopped drinking and eating crap. She lost 20 pounds. Her relationship with her husband and kids is even better. And her skin even cleared up and she even looked younger. It was really crazy. And uh, I still work with her today. But this is such a common story. I wish I could tell you that she was the only one. But so many people are dealing with this exact same issue on some level. And until it's addressed, it's rarely resolved and it rarely goes away on its own. Another piece of the puzzle for people who have unresolved issues from the past is blame. For some, they aren't keeping a secret. They know exactly what it is that's haunting them, but they don't wanna do anything about it and continue to blame somebody or something else for their unhappiness. But I can assure you that until they stop blaming others for their emptiness, they are going to continue to suffer. It requires a willingness to change and an accountability partner like a coach or a counselor like myself. You know, I talk about that willingness in my book, Funky Wisdom, um, where it just requires honesty, open-mindedness, and willingness, where I say, all right, I honestly, I, I have a problem. Things aren't going well. I'm open to seeing a new way of doing things, and I'm willing to do those things. And when you have an accountability partner to walk you through these steps to get you where you want to be, life will unfold in ways that you never knew existed. So if any of this resonates with you, or if you or anybody you know that's struggling with alcoholism or drug addiction, or addictions of any kind, food, sex, shopping, spending money you don't have, and feels like their life is just empty and meaningless, give me a call, it's free, we'll just talk for a little while, we'll see how you feel. And while we're all dealing with the worst year 
probably in most of our lives in 2020 with the pandemic and just it's just a crazy world right now i'm offering two free sessions to help you just get the ball rolling it's a difficult time for everybody right now but you can at least work on this part of your sanity and your happiness when we come out of this you're going to feel better and you're going to hit the ground running for your new life i'm sending you all love and good vibes have a great day today